Ah, right, okay, now it's working. <coughs> Don't know why that wasn't working then. Even and all, just getting the old uh, PS2 out, just making sure we were connected, which we are, happy days, TV back so I can see what I'm doing, hey, coolio, right then, we'll, uh, we'll have some PS2 tonight I think, we'll play some various games. Yeah, a bit of PS2, why not? I've whipped out the uh, PS2 with the hard drive. Uh, I do have an SSD hard drive in this sucker, so which is, I find, quite amusing, considering, uh, obviously, SSDs weren't around when this machine was out. But, uh, yep, it's got an SSD in it, which is crazy. Does nothing for the loading speed, mate. So, what do we want to play? I do definitely want to play um, the Sega Ages uh, Fancy Zone collection. And... Uh, yeah, fancy I was thinking fancy star then for some reason. So how are you going, Bill anyway? How's uh, how's life? So I've got all the Sega Ages games on you. Uh including the Fancy Star Generations one, which is in Japanese, so it's a bit pointless playing that one, to be truthfully honest. So we're not gonna be able to play anything. So I might go through all these, because this might be interesting to whip through all these games. So, do I show Fancy Star? They are somewhere. Uh, there's Mushy. And there's Ibarra. Oh, Ibarra. Ibarra. Both uh, very nice games. I'd like to have the original of Ibarra, but unfortunately I haven't got it. Cool. Right, okay. So, what we'll do is we'll skip... Fancy Star Generations, uh, because it's in Japanese and it's pretty much unplayable. And we'll go to Monaco uh, GP. Maybe we'll have a go to Bada after or something. <coughs> and play that game for a little while. And seeing as this, gonna, this is going through my Frame Meister now, so um, it's not directly into the capture card. So it will, the picture will flick on and off every now and then. And hopefully it'll come back on. Yeah, which it does. Marvellous. Right then, here we go. If I can start it, of course. Oh yeah, we're going, we're good. I'm using a Sega Saturn pad. But for some reason, I can't start it. Normally, maybe I've got to use a PlayStation pad. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, I think I may have played Shadows of Rome. Why can't I start that? Hang on. My pad was working, so... It may just be this game requires an original pad. If that's the case, I may have to go and find one. Yeah, it's not working. Right, hang on. Um, well, I got a pad there. Not sure if this pad's any good though. So uh, I do have a joystick as well, eh? Hanging around. So worst case scenario, we'll plug the joystick in. I do like my satin uh, pad and satin converter, which uh, are pretty damn rare. Guy made mine for me in the US. Right, here we go then. Original pad. I'm not sure if this pad's any good. No, that works. Oh, it's analog. That's why I think. 
Right then. Okay. Let's start this bad boy up. Yep, free McBoot. I do have uh, another two PS2s. One was chipped with a uh, hard drive, and the other one's just a uh, standard um, slim. But uh, yeah, free McBoot is the way to go. <coughs> Say, this is a PAL one. Why the hell is this pad sticky? What the hell? I dropped something on this pad. I did drop orange juice a little while ago all over my floor. Maybe a bit caught on the pad. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the SST doesn't load in times. Don't really. They're not really much faster, to be honest. Eh, hey, how's it going, bloke? How's life? We've got load in. Just lovely. Is it going to load? Doesn't look very promising, does it? Ah, oh, come on. It's not going to load, is it? Right, okay. Let me see if I can do a, a restart. Unfortunately, on this PlayStation, if I tap the button to restart it, it turns off. So I have to wait for it to sync again. I'm all right, mate. Thanks. Yeah, I'm great. Oh, I love the loading screen. Everyone loves the loading screen. We'll try it again. You would think chucking an SSD in you would make some sort of difference, wouldn't you? But um, not really, to be honest. Right, okay, let's have a look. Let's try that again. If not, we'll have to move on to a different one. Monaco GP. It's a bit of an odd game, this is. It's a remake of the old Sega Monaco game. Yeah, that's not bad, way. That, that is on you as well. Ah, oh, here we go. We're in, baby. We're in. Oh, wrong button. Forgot. It's American there. We've got the classic and we've got originals. So, do we go for... All right, let's try the classic and then we'll come back to the original. Yeah, it's a Sega Ages. This is they're all on you. So um, we'll, we'll just play through some of the Sega Ages games, I think. Why not? And I'll skip out some of the Fantasy Star games because they're all in Japan, uh, Japanese, so it's a bit awkward to um, play them. I say adventure games, which take forever. We've got to push forward. <laughs> this game's crazy. If you're in the car, you just literally explode. Cop car after me. Ooh. Oh, no, it's an ambulance. An ambulance is a beast. That's better than an F1 car. I want to drive the ambulance. <laughs> That's much better than my car. Right, I got the place to. I got. Uh, I got the frame meister set to progressive scan. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm not sure if this is progressive or interlaced. This game, so. I can swap it around. That ambulance is a monster. Oh, I only touched him. All right, mate, how's it going? Mushroom, I like it. Thanks for joining. Right, okay. Let's give our another go, shall we? Let's go do a whole Grand Prix. Oh, I keep forgetting the circle button, innit? Japanese circle button. 
Right, let's have a look. Is this actually interlaced or is it uh, progressive scan? It is interlaced. Hang on. I do have some uh, settings all pre-ready set up on the uh, Frame Meister for interlaced and uh, progressive to get the best picture. So load that. Uh, we'll do that one. It's going to flick off for a second. But hopefully, we should get a better picture when it comes back on. If it does come back on, of course. Okay, we're back on. At least I am. Yeah, cool. Right, so it does make a little bit of a difference swapping them around. I don't know if that shows on YouTube while streaming mine, but. <laughs> Yeah, it looks a bit better. <laughs> it's weird, you've got to actually use the analog stick. We're pushed forward, you can't use the buttons, which is weird. Oh, not doing well this time. Oh, actually, I don't think you've got to hold forward. Oh, you haven't. Score extend. Yeah, this is a remake of the old first Sega Monaco GP. Ah. Oh. I'm pretty sure on the original GP you can actually jump as well, which is uh, a bit nuts. Man, that ambulance is nuts. Smash the cars off as well. Ah, uh, got a time, am I? No, I got time. Oh, he moved over. What a swine! Ah. Okay, we'll have a try the other mode. Let's go original. Um, what we got there? That's pretty average. Let's go for the. Um, <coughs> let's go for that one. I'm going to find somewhere to actually put my PS2. I'm literally, I don't know where I'm going to put it. <coughs> oh, they make you go fast. Ooh. Oh, I don't turn very well. Hang on, what the hell is going on? Can't move. Why can't I turn? Stop. What the hell? I can't turn. Stop. I don't know what the hell is going on. That's jump. Oh, you gotta use the left and right from the top to see it. Ah, oh, that's weird. You got oh you gotta turn the view. That's weird. So you've got to turn, and then you've got to use the left and right at the top to turn your view. That's weird. Yep, car versus wall. That's weird as hell, that is. Why the hell did they do that? Okay, we'll try that again. At least I know now you've got to change your bloody view. 
Uh, I can't start actually, I want to go back the other one. Zoom. Okay, let's do the square one. Yeah, it's weird. You got You could turn your car and go forward and back, but then you have to use uh, the left and right bumper buttons to change the view. Like that. That's quite strange. Alright, okay. I can jump over cars on this one, I think, though. Yeah, we can jump over cars. Oh shit. Oh man, that's really weird. And you can jump over him. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, go right in front of me, Ed. Man, I can't get used to that. Two laps. Moves is quite funky though, I'll give it that. <laughs> I was trying to slow down then. Turn. What is that? Oh. Is that a booster or something I've got? Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm on. Ooh, it nearly had me. Man, that turn is crazy. <laughs> it's really nuts that turn in. I don't I had a map. I knew where I was going. You know where the corners are coming up like? Ah, oh, damn, he ran me. On bugger off cars. Ah. Really, that does not help you at all when you turn in. Really didn't. Be quite fun in F one if you could actually cars would jump each other. Oh, 
every corner a crash on. Be some consistent in something. Uh oh. Yeah, some of these Sega Ages games are not the best, some of them are pretty bad. But there's some, there, there are a few little classics in you. Taken up by this crazy fast ambulance. I tried to get around that corner fast then. I've got a booster, but I don't know how to use it. That might be there. Ah, oh, jump, jump, jump. Not when they take them, they wreck themselves, they can wreck you. Like that. Oh, it's lucky. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, game over. <laughs> 63. Oh, is that it's actually on the uh, PS2? I've never actually played that. Um, okay. Da -da. Let's have one more go of arcade mode. The classic boat. Right, here we go. You can't jump in this boat, I don't think. No. Starting off bad. They love weaving into you, don't they? Did you want to go any of the crazy cornering on this one? Ice physics. Oh, you guess it's just. That red car's a nightmare. Ah, come on. Stop crashing into me. Ah. I think we'll have uh, we'll have one more go with that, and then uh, we'll move on to the, number, the next one. It's going to take a while to go through these games. I should get all the simple series games for the PS One, and then go through all of them one night as well. So I haven't played half of those games.
Should we really go use the joystick to push forward? Ah, as soon as you try dodging around the side, you get a bloody corner. Surprised that red car didn't try and ram me off the road. Follow the ambulance. I thought I could make Alan. Oh, straight across the interview. It was lucky. The ambulance. Wrecked me. Ah, didn't get turn over then. I'm not sure. Was it one of the simple CVs? I'm not sure. Right, let's swap again. Let's try and hold this power button down this time. Will we? Uh, no, it still turns it off whatever I do. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, that was actually one of those original games. The Earth Defense Force games are actually surprisingly fun to play. Yeah, they're terrible, but they uh, they are quite amusing to play. This was a um, five pound PS2 as well. I found it at a charity shop a long time ago. There's some good games on your mind. ADK Damage is quite good. That's on the PS4 now. Art of Fighting Anthology. I do have the original there. That's expensive. ADK Damage is about 130 40 quid. Um. I got S and K Capcom. I got uh, Castle Shogami. I don't think that works properly, actually. Chowaniki, Chowaniki. Right then. So what's the next one? Ah, oh, Fancy Zone. Ah, oh, this is quite good. This one is actually. Got a little bit of extra space on you. I could check a few more games on you. I suppose there's only so much you're going to play in, you know. And you got so much time in a day to play anything. I don't know about you guys, but it's gone cold tonight. Must be getting old. Feeling the cold. Then again, I don't like the cold anyway. I hate the cold. Yeah, this is quite a cool one, this is. This is a 3D remake of the original Fancy Zone. It's uh, it's quite nice, it says. Uh, let's go into options. Um, game level shot. Do we have auto fire? Because I'm knackered if we don't. Output stereo, country, USA. Are the only countries in the world? Japan and USA. Okay. I try my P and my um, satin pad again. Hang on. Let me see if the satin pad will work on this. Satin pad's really nice for 2D stuff. Hang on. Can't get in and out. Sorry, my life. Yeah, man. Right, let's try the satin pad again. Yeah, that works. And hopefully we've got auto fire.
Yeah, but he's freezing. Oh, we haven't got a rotor fight. That's a problem. Without auto fire, Fancy Zone is absolutely solid. I don't know where it is. It's definitely gone cold today. So this is a quite a really nice remake in 3D of the original Fancy Zone. Try and uh, fire a bit faster. Right, here we go. Killed him by now, fair to fire. <laughs> oh, forgot about these. These are a nice little addition they've added to this. So I wouldn't mind getting older this uh, version. his feet. No. Some of these um, games on you, they, they go for silly money as well. The virtual racer one's really expensive. Right, we'll have Big Wing, we'll have Twin Bombs and I'll have, have the wide beam. Loves a wide one. I got a PC, uh, the, the PlayStation output in component. So anything that's uh, progressive scan or something, which it won't be because I'm uh, using the interlist, looks really nice. I'm going to have to try and press fail, I guess. Who says the frame mice that can't do interlaced 480p any good? Looks pretty nice to me. It does do progressive bear to mind, I will say. Well, the PS2 was a brilliant console, wasn't it? The PS4 is like this generation's PS2. Even though the generation is almost over. Okay, we got it. I mean, notice the planet spinning around in the background. Left. 
I don't know who did this version of um, Fancy Zone, but they did a pretty nice job in it. That's a nice amount of coins. Yeah, I am running the PS2 through um, Frame Meister, mind. Got a component cables and uh, running straight into the Frame Meister. That's why it looks pretty nice. Oh, you played through both of them on the PS2, that's cool. Yeah, PS2 is brilliant. Really nice console, PS2. I wonder if they'll ever bring a HDMI mod out for the PS2. There you go, it's got component, haven't it? So there's not so much call for it, I suppose you can just use component cables. Hard work on a pad when you got to mash buttons. Your bombs are really powerful. Half wish I had auto fire. The way to do this boss, he says. I think I did. Mess the boss up. Just trying to get the bottom ones first. Might be able to get it with the bomb. Yep. Big wing. I want that. I'm gonna have to buy an extra life or two, I think. Um, and I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna buy that. Oh, 
and he thinks he's easy with seven shot. Collect the money off him, is that? Yeah, it's a shot, I'm not going to go for it. Done it. Do without any uh, speed. Ooh. Oh, hello. I want auto fire. So much easier. Do you think it was a bullet day then? the next one try reset uh press in the uh no that didn't work either you are possible to just tap that button on the ps2 and uh, it reset restarts like this one just turns off i didn't want to do that Free muck boot is uh, well handy, I have to say. Saves using the hard drive disk. Right, and what have we got? So, what's next? Space area. This is not too bad actually, this is not a bad uh, 3D port of uh, Space Area. I think some of these games started off pretty well and then some of them just got really bad. <laughs> the Gold Axe one's terrible. Right, here we go then. Nope, can't use the satin pad. Yeah, some of these must be analog only. Okay, let me check the other pad back in. Cool, right. Yeah, this is analog as well. Right, have we got auto fire? Please have auto fire. Options. Uh, vibration, factor sound key. Ah, uh, no water fire. What's going on? Lock on laser shot. Rapid fire. Aha. Okay. So there is rapid fire. Uh, okay. I leave it on R2 then. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, 
No, I'm actually using an original pad. I do have a Brook adapter. Not for PS2, mind. Um, so I'm actually using the pad. This one's analog as well. So uh, I've got the satin pad I've got. It, it's, it is a PS2 adapter. But it, it was, you can't, I don't know if they do satin ones now. But you couldn't get them back in the day. And this one was made by a guy in the US. He had a website and he was making like um, boutique little converters and stuff. And he made me a um, a satin pad to um, PS2 converter. I can't remember how much I paid for it now. So it's like um, it's it's like sort of homemade sort of converter essentially. It's got a chip and everything inside it. All right, mate, how's it going? Cheers for joining. Nice to see you around, Horatio. Not good. I love Space Area. <coughs> Big fan of Space Area. Go see. At least I put an auto fire on this one. Right, so you got Lego with fire to do the lock on laser. Yeah. I don't think he runs, he just floats over. I remember this game in the arcades as a kid. You'd see it, and it was like one of the most impressive arcades around at the time. Big sit-down cabinets used to be all over the place. It always looked really impressive in the arcade system, especially as a kid. Can't find out. Difficult to hit. Use the lock on these ones, seem bad hurting. Firing's a bit weird, this order fire. It slows down after a while, I think. It keeps stopping, it's a bit weird. I do. Oh, cool, get shields. things.
I would be dead ages ago on the arcade. Why didn't Sega ever release Planet Harriers on the um, Dreamcast? That would have been brilliant on the Dreamcast, but they never released it. Quite cool Planet Harriers as well. I played in the arcade a few times. Yeah, they would have been really good if they'd actually converted that game. Ah, oh, no. Are you ready, Harry? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Dragons are remodeled, they look a little bit like something like a Panzer Dragoon. The Space Army is in the same universe as um, Fancy Zone. It is pretty much the Fancy Zone. Have you guys ever played the um, 3DS version of this? Not this game, but Fancy Zone. It's really good. <coughs> oh, yeah. This would be really cool in um, VR. Doesn't animate particularly too well <laughs> compared to the arcade one. Is that a Sobo Tech? If you've ever heard of that guy, he's made a game that's sort of pretty much the bonus levels from um, Fancy Zone. It's quite fun as well, actually. This one looks like you're waggling around a giant white sausage. <laughs> Or something else that resembles a giant white sausage. Yeah, the 3DS 3D ones are wicked. They're really good. All the ones they did, they, they're brilliant. The um, probably the prime of the, cro the crop is um, Galaxy Force. That looks amazing in 3D. Galaxy Force 2. That's really nice. That is. Cool, flash bomb. Nice. Ooh, that was close. I'm not doing too bad. Say that, I'll probably die again. Huh? It's all good. Keep on the move. Pick some woolly mouse. 
any robots in the arcade there? They look a bit weird, don't you? Oh no. How many lives I got? This is my last one. It's not too bad a version of uh, Space Eye. Not as good as the arcade, but it, it's it's pretty, you know, it's pretty decent. I quite like it. There's an afterburner on here as well, actually. Straight into a rock that was as well. Lives left. We move up a bit quicker, I think. Oh, I got him. Sausage time? Nope. Ah, I normally get... Uh But I'd ride that dragon in. It's getting a bit more tricky now. Shall I continue? That's the question when I die. If they can continue, of course. Oh, 
I might do, since I got this far. Dragon. It is. Especially that dragon reminds the one this this reminds you of a never ending story. Even though this one does look like a white dildo for some reason you you you're riding around, but there you go something you see in a porn movie. It's not exactly animated particularly too well, <laughs> which doesn't help. Might be the new prototype version of the rabbit rabbit, who knows. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a, it's a pretty nice 3D sort of remake of it. I think these games were chucked out pretty cheap, so I don't think it was they'd spent a lot of budget on it, but it's not bad. Same as the Fancy Zone one's really nice as well. Oh, wrong button. Ooh, dark. Destructible blocks was that then? I would say the firing is a little bit weird. Oh, those blocks you can't kill. Ah, can I continue? You can't continue. Well, got to stage 13. That's not too bad. Yeah, cheers, Bill. Thanks for joining. Um, probably see you again next week or something. Unless I'm on tomorrow, of course. But yeah. Now we've seen Space Aria. Let's go on to the next one. I do have a favourite version of all these. The um, Fancy Zone collection, that's really good. Yeah, it's really nice, the Fancy Zone collection. I'm not sure which volume it is, but uh, it's sweet. And the Virtual Racing one's really good as well. Even though uh, the the new Switch version of Virtual Racing is much better than it, but for what it is, it's pretty nice. Even though the car does look a bit weird. Right, so where do we get up to? So, number four. Ah, oh, here we go. This one's pretty bad. I'm not a massive fan of Bonanza Brothers. I never really got into it, but um, we'll give it a go. Right, are these all interlaced? Uh, yes, they are. As most, a lot of PS2 stuff is. Right, we'll skip that. So, Sega Ages Volume 5 Golden Axe. This looks quite cool. Oh, 
not enough to have uh, Tabus Flame, I think. But like a. See, this one's a little bit janky. Oh, I was nasty. Please, a bit janky this version as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a horrible run they do. Can't turn around in the air either. Ah, oh, you could on, you could on the Mega Drive and Arcade one. Well, it gets it right now. Controls are a little bit delayed as well. They are very sneaky on that run. No boss are. Oh, come on, move out the way. I suppose once you know they've run it at you, you can move out the way. Oh, you shit. That kick beats me as well. Say eh? Yeah, they're really good, aren't they? I've got the collection one, but I haven't just got the fancy zone one. It's one of the games when I went to Japan I wanted to pick up. They're pretty nice. Unfortunately though, it's only the chipped PS2 that I actually works on, and my chipped one's a little bit dodgy. I could do a Japanese PS2 to be honest. Or oh, that hack for the DVD drive when it eventually comes out. What's it? It's the boss, is it? Oh, that's great. She does the animation, even though the guy's dead on the floor. So there are a couple of decent games on these um, these collections. Do 
Live that kick. Yeah, I've got a small collection of um, PS2, mainly Japanese games. What about? I'm not sure how many games I've got actually. I've got some decent ones. And one or two UK ones, as long as they're... Because I can't stand 50 hertz, but as long as they've got 60 hertz options, that's alright. I can live with that. So i got the um, Street Fighter Alpha collection. That's got a 60 hertz option on it. Um... Ooh, that's an odd choice that is. Um, probably this version. The PC engine went terrible, but it. Right, I suppose it, it, it's more like Golden Axe than this one. Because this one, you don't fight the two big bosses at the end. The levels go for too long. So, I suppose the PC engine went terrible as it is. It's a little bit more like Golden Axe. Shame of the PC Engine one, it's got quite a cool intro, it's got really nice music as well, but the game is awful. <laughs> this one doesn't play particularly too well either. It's a bit of an odd choice to treat the two of them, I'd have to say. Yeah, I'd say the PC Engine one is probably slightly better. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame that um, Telnet Japan did such a bad job with the PC Engine one. Because the PC, especially being on CD, the PC Engine could have done a really nice version of Gonax. It just unfortunately they give it to a developer that's not really um, oh great, it's not really top class. They make sort of you know average games at most, but then again, I, I do like a lot of their games, like. I love the Valis series. Uh, I love loads of other games Telling that Japan has made as well. Even though none of them are special, if you know what I mean. None of them are even close to like a triple A sort of game, but they made some good alternatives. Yeah, this one, it doesn't, it's not really like the arcade that much, really. I haven't come across any big enemies yet to use my magic. Um, okay, we'll have one continue. I want to use my magic. I definitely could have made it a little bit better. I can't turn around in mid-air either, which is weird. You can't multi-slash in mid-air either. Let's try the magic out. They're not, they're not RPGs, they're action platformers, the Ballast games. Action sword slash games. I I really like the Ballast games. They're difficult games, but they're good. I 
They also made uh, Legend of Dico Poco, which is great. Looks terrible, but it's a really cool game. What else did Talent do? Talent did loads of games. I think uh, they did... Um, uh, what's the helicopter game? It's like... Uh, ooh, in the water. Avenger, that's it. They did that as well. That's quite a cool shoot, man. If you like old, old style action platformers, the Valis games are definitely worth a look. No. I love these. That's my favourite RPGs, as these. But no, they, they're action platformers. All all four of them are on the PC Engine as well. There's a remake of the first game, which is really nice, actually. There's a second game that looks quite old, though, but um, that's quite good fun, no? Uh, Valis 3, which is difficult, but it's one of the best, better ones, and uh, Valis 4 is very good as well. Valis 4 came out in the SNES. I've got the SNES one somewhere. I'm in the middle of playing through East um, Memories of Cell Center. Quite enjoying that, it's quite good fun. The one I really enjoyed was East 8. That's, that's brilliant, East 8 is. Not fast enough sometimes to get out of the way. You bastard. Yeah, this is not really anything like the arcade one. That's two levels before you get to these guys. <laughs> they got a cheesy grin. She looks impressed. Man, these, these, these games are terrible for PS2. <laughs> right. Let's get the dragon on them. She's not very fast to move. I just stand here and slash. Huh? Why did they die on the other side of the screen? Yeah, okay. Hey, racing arrows go, mate. Good to see you. Yeah, I can't fault those type of games. I like all them type of games as well. Shmups are my favourite. I like the Abo type games as well. Play that uh, Minecraft, Minecraft Dungeons. It's not bad, a bit easy, but it's a fun little game. So it took two levels to get to the second level, which is weird. It's like they extended the levels a bit too much. I don't know why they did that. Well, I think it's slow.
be hard to do anything on that. Yeah, so that's gold. That's the golden axe one anyway, which is not particularly great. It's a bit shite actually, to be honest. So let's go to the next one. Don't know where we'll have enough time to uh, show most of these games, but we'll see. There's quite a few one. There's quite a few to go through. All right, here we go. Yeah, I love shmups. I um, played, let's say, the last Diablo type game I played was uh, Minecraft uh, Dungeons, and that was quite good fun. Diablo 3 is great. Uh, right, okay, so where do we get up to? Um, Bonanza Brothers. Not a massive fan of Bonanza Brothers. Never really sort of gelled with it. I know it's supposed to be a decent game. Yeah, I've played EDF, I. They're quite good fun, aren't they? I really like the um, 361 they did. I can't remember which version that was mine, but... Um, oh, oh, that's Puzzle and Action. Oh, Puzzle and Action, Bonanza Brewers. Yeah, 361 was cool, and I um, played the one on the PS4 a bit. Should play a bit more, because they're a bit cheesy, but they, they're fun games. Nuns of Brothers. So there's two games on this one then. You got that, uh, I can't remember the name of that one. Yeah, just, I've seen this in the arcade a few times. I never really got into it. It does seem like quite a, a decent game when you get into it, mind. But never sort of. You no, know, never gelled with it, if you know what I mean. This is on our new Sega Mini. Gotta do a lot of hiding, haven't you, from the uh, cobbers? Then, like we spotted me. I've seen people doing replays of this, and it, it does look it looks quite uh, strategic when you play it. Oh, damn, they do actually notice you when you're hiding around the corner. Yeah, pretty much. Can't go wrong with that, can you? And giant flying saucers. Giant spiders. Yeah, I say... Never found this game that, that great. Never got on with it. I suppose I've never really sort of learned how to play it. So there's another treasure I've actually got to get. Can't go out there, I'm good for it. Yeah, not faster than that game. 
I don't get it. Have you played the shoot 'em up version of EDF? I've played it once or twice. It's it's not bad. It's a little bit hard to tell whether you where you're shooting and where you're dodging sometimes, but um, it's all right. Right. Yeah, that Bonanza Brothers is on the new um, Sega Astro City Mini as well. Like I said, I never really got on with it. Right, what's next? Columns. Uh, yeah, Columns is... No, yeah, it's an alright puzzle game, nothing special. I suppose I remember the Mega Drive version because it was on the uh, Mega Games 1. And it was on the PC Engine. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go for the endless mode then. Yeah, I say it's an alright game, it says. Pio Pio is better. Not the greatest puzzle game. Sega did do a couple of different versions of this as well. I think there's a Columns 2 and there's another version of Columns as well. Can't remember the name of it. It should be the middle one. I saw the PC Engine version of this back in the day as well. I had a 5-in-1 multi-cart that had this um, Alien Crash, uh, Shanghai, and two Mahjong games. Quite a nice uh, cartridge, guys. I should have kept it. I've actually, I've actually had that cartridge twice. I should have kept it older. I used to play that quite a bit. to sort of uh, and fill the screen on this but I hope for the best sometimes on the on the drops on the diamonds um, go for that the screen is filling up a little bit too much for my leg in. Lucky to have that one in. Uh, we'll see though, Columns is not a patch on Tetris. Tetris is like pretty much the perfect puzzle game. Not every version of Tetris, mine, but uh, the idea of Tetris is. Pretty much like the perfect puzzle game. Um, right. Oh, 
Ah, dead. What's going on here? Yeah, the KOF shmup, that's pretty much um, Shikigami no Shiro, isn't it? It's not a bad little game, but yeah, it's a bit odd. Right, so that's Columns. You know, Columns is Columns. Yeah, turning a, turning a fighting game into a shmup. I suppose, you you know, you're just replacing the characters in Shikigami no Shiro, basically. But uh, yeah, it seems a bit strange. That King of Fighters shmup as well was actually an arcade game. I've actually played the arcade one. Uh, right, what we got on you now? Do we have to be up to anything good? Ah, virtual racing, yeah, cool. This virtual racing's nice. Now, the only thing is the car pivots. It's like they've put a, a spike through the middle of the car and you're turning the car on a sort of pivot point. Apart from that, it's quite a nice version of virtual racing. Um, and it, it was a nightmare to get it working on you. Let's go for the NTSC version. Yeah, I tried probably about, I don't know, maybe about five or six different versions of this game to get it working. And this looks like it's not working. Right, let's try the PAL fix. I'm sure this works, because I've played it. Or doesn't it work, is the question. I can't remember I've played it on disc. Or I've actually played it on year. I remember I was having problems trying to get it running. Actually, springs back to mind. I think I'm loading it in. I need to load it in the other... You have a hard drive loader. I think it works in there. Come on, PlayStation. Come back on. Ah, PlayStation's not come back on, though. No? Oh, hang on. Are we getting anything? Yeah, I remember having this problem with this before. Right, see if it'll come back on now. Yeah, so there's something weird about that, that disc. Format not supported. Weird. Yeah, man. What are you doing? I think, if I remember rightly, last time I, I did this, I had to pull the power out of the PlayStation. So I'll do it. Actually, I won't have to pull the power to the Switch. Hang on. Yeah, you've got to turn it right off because um, for some reason that, uh, that virtual racing screws up. Right, let's see if it'll come back on now. Pardon me. Right, it's on my telly. Whether it'll come back on the stream. All that not supported. Weird. Uh, Alright, let me turn the frame I set. Let me swap it a minute to a different channel and swap it back. Right, okay. We good, I think. <laughs> yeah, we good. Very cool. I think I have to launch it in uh, OPL. I think I remember trying loads of different versions of it, and um, I think it works in OPL. But OPL is like a different version of the hard drive loader. A lot of people prefer this one, but I, don't, I find the other one works better. Right, okay. Let's try again. Let's see if I'm just talking crap. I might be. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't sort of rule it out. Right, now I'll try square for NTSC. Decompression error. 
Ah, it's not going to work, is it? Ah, what's going on? Okay, we might have to skip virtual racing then, which is a shame because it's really nice. Definitely played it on you. Do I have to do the power thing again? Hopefully not. No. Well, I'll try once more in OPL, and this time I'll try and do the PAL fix version instead of running the NTSC version. Sorry about this, guys. Joys are running PS2s, I suppose. Right, virtual racing. Right, so I'm going to do cross. Decompression. Nah, it's not going to work. Oh, that's a shame. Virtual, uh, virtual racing is really nice. We'll skip that then. I think I got a, I got a couple of other PS2s. I can't remember where. I'm sure I played it on this one. Oh well. What is the next game in this list? Uh, right, here we go then. Let's have a go of the tree. Game Ground. Game Ground is a long game. I quite like Game Ground, actually. I like the PC Engine version. The only problem is it takes probably like two and a half hours to finish it. And I can't do the last boss on the, on the, uh, the PC Engine one. Solid last boss. This is quite nice on the uh, Switch. Extra game. Right, oh, I can't change it. This looks like it's analog as well. Do, 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 do. I won't play this game for long because um, it takes forever. I. I didn't like this game at all when I first played it. I played it back in the day in the arcades and didn't think much of it. And um, when it came out in the Mega Drive, it looked terrible. But this game is not supposed to look good. Basically, the idea of this game is you need to get to the exit. You've got to get all your characters to the exit, or you can pick up characters and you've got to try and take them to the exit without getting shots. You can save characters, and then they add to your roster of characters. Then, um, I got a character to save for there. And each 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 character's got their own different weapons. What you got to watch is they hold the gun on the one side, as you've seen. It can affect the way you're firing. And they all have two different versions of firing. Like I say, I I hated this game when I first played it. Eh? You just think we're in. Uh, I get him to the exit now where I get to save that character he was with. Um, Blue Knight. Okay, let's try that. He's new. I've never seen this character before. Um, or if you kill all enemies on the stage, the stage ends. There's a lot of stages in this game as well. And as you see, there's enemies up high, so you need to use um, the archer.
テレテテレテレテテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレテレちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、You get the idea. The arcade is、um, in Tate mode, so it's like、um, the screen is vertical. Um, so I'm gonna need him to kill them. You can get quite a lot of characters in your roster as well if you save them all. So use the guy with the gun again. So there's a character to save there. I have to give the Mega Drive one a go again. So I literally never liked the Mega Drive one, but I think I've learned to appreciate this game. Oh no, I died. Right, so once you die, you do get a chance to save your character. Right,、so、that should make it quite easy to save my characters. I think there's four levels altogether on this, so the、um, game is pretty big and can take a, a fair amount of time to finish. Oh, you bastard. Now we're in trouble. Oh no, I've killed all the ones on the top, so it's not too bad actually. If you lose your archer and you get enemies on the top, then you're in trouble trying to beat those enemies. And there's a character to save on both sides, which is going to be tricky. Fire a lot to do as well.、Um, I thought they'd be above me, but they're not. That's all going downhill. <laughs> And there's also a time limit, you see. Right, 
Okay, so I saved one of them. Now we're out of time. Ah, lost a lot of characters then. Oh, I lost quite a lot of characters then. Get the idea with getting ground. It's quite like I say. You do have to take your time, but you can't take too much time because you got time. But uh, like I say, I hated this game at first, but um, when you get into it, it's quite good. It's a long one, so we'll swap to something else. I wonder what the next one in this uh, Secret Ages. Um, let's have a look at it. We'll skip Fancy Star Generations because that's remakes of the Fancy, uh, Fancy Star games. But they're all in uh, Japanese, so you can't play them. And I can't rename that one for some reason, I don't know why. So, Afterburner. So, a 3D version of Afterburner. But yeah, I couldn't get virtual racing working, so that's, that's pretty nice. Three D ages. This is not too bad either, actually. Oh, range mode. I love Afterburner. Bit of a fan, to be honest. Get ready. I uh, really like the PC Engine version of this. I think it's actually better than the Mega Drive one. But the, the 3DS version of this is brilliant. So you go, actually, the controls are analog on this, so um, you've got to hold it in direction and. The analog on the PS2 is not particularly the greatest analog in the world. It's work though. Ah, oh, damn. I remember the first time I seen this in the arcades. I was just blown away how cool this game was. And the cab, the full sit down cab. Very nice indeed. I've always liked Afterburner. Afterburner Climax is also very good as well. The arcade one and the uh, one on the 360, but unfortunately uh, they took it off the store so you, you can no longer get that game. The only problem of um, buying stuff online on online stores, they can remove them and then that's it. Them games uh, sort of disappear. It's a pretty decent version of Afterburner. Even though if you're not playing it, this, this scrolling is probably doing you nothing at this point in time. <laughs> yeah, let's continue. Why not? I 
I call him the other landing secretive. Got a pretty funky soundtrack as well. Run him. Yeah, I did. Bam, bam. <laughs> cool soundtrack on um, Afterburner. I really like it. Oh, I should have sped up, not slow down. The enemy. Tricky. Go on, MiG 29. Boom, this stage is it. Nice bit of refueling. Speed up. Oh, missiles get faster when you speed up to dodge and things. Don't have any credits to get. Catch me every time when I speed up. to dodge a bunch of come behind you. Keep continue. So try the uh, the normal mode. There's so many Sega Ages games are actually pretty funky. Uh, oh. What have we got in options? This no Vulcan. Use it, auto. Actually, I'll just put it on that. 
Uh, low speed, high speed. Welcome. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Should just fire on its own now, hopefully. Could just do the missiles then. Can run out of missiles as well, so you've got to be a little bit careful. Fight a bit fast then. I said dodge them in. Still quite a funky game to play after all these years. Right, I have not got any missiles left. Very nice guys back garden, eh? Right, this is getting my weapons back. <laughs> Quite cool to get a little hang on bike on the right hand side. Playing on my tail. Nine o'clock. Out to run now, sucker. The enemy got me. Did 
Yes, this is a pretty nice 3D remake of the original um, Afterburner game. I don't know how much these retailed for in Japan, but I think they were uh, on the cheaper side. I think they were like budget releases. Yes, I think they were budget releases. Now, I'm sure I've got a background to the right on side then. Ah, continue. I don't mean continues you got. I come in, we just couldn't get out of the way of it. Try to do a flip over there and I'll speed up. Continue. Why not? I'm into it now. What I might do next, I might go on to something I fancy given a well, same, same in the series, but I might go a bit high up. Why not go with the uh, Fancy Zone collection, which is brilliant. It's got uh, the arcade version of Fancy Zone 2 on it, which was made by M2. Uh, who actually did the con the uh, collection as well? It's a really nice collection. It's got all the console versions of Fancy Zone on there. All the resolutions you can think of, and the really nice version of uh, Fancy Zone too. The old outrun car this time. Don't stop dodging missiles. Here's the continue. I if, probably give enough credits to complete it, I expect. How many, many levels are on this? I think it's 18. Ah, 
Goddamn, this is Kobe. God, they were fast, they didn't have a chance to move out the way of them. those towers for some extra points. Slightly erratic this game I suppose. <laughs> this version anyway. Because the analog controls is. Great. Got planes on me now as well. Oh, must be more than 18 stages, eh? I thought it was 18. What was it, 22? I can't believe you remember. I'll to run him if I can. Just doing the circle motion, just doing the job. It's proving quite hard to outrun. Slow down, let him pass me. And then the other guy kills me, surely. Ah, this gives you a limb to continue, I suppose. It is that. Uh... Oh, he's not going to hang around, is he? One plain die. At least didn't kill me that time. Oh, missile and that.
Oh. Oh well, I was completely wrong with the stage numbers. Finished it. Lots of credits, mate. This game is definitely designed from Top Gun, wasn't it? I've seen that film for years. I wonder if it's still the, as good as it used to be. You as in you, Kazuki. Right. What we'll do is, I'm going to Hot downstairs for a drink a second. And have a tingle while I'm at it. I'll just uh, load up another game first, mind. Very noisy the PS2. <laughs> Noisier than my PC. Right, here we go then. Right, so where do we get up to? We go up to Afterburner. I know Do Ken. That's that's quite uh, that's quite decent actually. That is, actually maybe I won't skip the fancy zone. Maybe I'll play. Uh, cause there's some quite decent ones in here. Pio Pio. Outrun is not too bad either. Alien Syndrome is terrible if I remember rightly. Virtual Fight Two. I like Virtual Fight Two. Ah, let's do that. Bugger it. This is uh, like, um, oh, what's it called? Last T were on the math system. Oh, I can't think. Anyway, I'm going to just pop off for a drink in a second. I'll leave you with this uh, absolutely fantastic intro. I'll be back in a mo. There you are. There's the original Mark III one. So that's, that's the game I'm on about on the math system. Back in a minute.
Right, I'm back. Yeah, I can't remember the name of this other match system. Um, one last, is the last battle? That's the Mega Drive version in the last battle. But it's pretty much a fist and all star game. Cool. I just noticed Fist of the North Star was first wrapped me for the 2000s and for the 2020. If they'd done this for 2020, it's probably about right. Here we go. Doesn't play the greatest, but Unlike the UK version of this, they explode into loads of blood. Not to say this version was out in the UK, but uh, the mass system one. Jumping his junk like you wouldn't believe. Come on, Ken. Power for the bomb. Go funky music. Three of them once. Please pay terrible, by the way. <laughs> Please, really awful. Any of the Fist of the North skin, um, Star games be any good. I know the uh, Yakuza type one's supposed to be cool. Got three of them, man. Let me fight Jaggy. 
Grey. I don't know what that bunch at the bottom do. Can't seem to use him. No, that's just pause. You can select them. Like that. Ooh. Oh, that kicked his. <laughs> I <laughs> kicked his ass in. That guy's name is Ray. Exploded. Game's not fast enough to weave in and out. I'm tapping it, I'm tapping it. Damn, he's winning. Gonna win this one. Yep. Lucky. Gameplay is terrible. Is that Julia? It really doesn't play good. My sister one plays way better. <laughs> Oh, it's Jaggy in the background. That's quite cool, the book statue.
the arcade beat maps on the PS2 as well. Actually got that on you. It's quite cool the arcade beat map. It's insane combos on it though. A bit dumb in two round. This guy's a bit of a pain. Me even I jumped over. Oh, you oh, shit! Those knife guys take loads of energy. Yeah, won't continue with that. That plays awful. Extremely bad. Uh. All oh, right. Okay. I swap games. Yeah, it looks alright, that does, but it doesn't play particularly very well. So, you probably some of these um, Sega Ages games. There's a mixture of ones that are good, there's a mixture of ones that are just meh, and there's a mixture of ones that are shite. There are some decent ones hidden in between. I bet a full collection of these on original would be uh, quite expensive to get hold of. I know Virtual Fighter's over 100 quid. I know Virtual Fighter, uh, Virtual Racing. Uh, so the next one was. We'll skip Pio Pio because that's a puzzle game. Then again, we haven't played it yet. Uh, ah, go on, why not? Japanese love Pio Pio more than Tetris. Pio Pio Tetris is a pretty nice game, but I would say that the Tetris guy's got absolutely no chance against the Pio Pio ones. I don't think this game really sort of um, took off in the West. the wisp there's some strategy to this game it's better than um columns basically got to stick these uh little colored blobs together um i think you've got to get three and a half four in a row i say then they disappear Um, you can do chains. Like, so when I get a green one going now, um, or a purple one. I never really got into Pio Pio. A uh, little bit of a chain. Chain is the way to do it. It's the way to play this game. Got a bit of a chain going there now, I think, as well. So I can get another purple one on the top. I want to get a yellow one. I'll cause a chain then. 
Um, right, should get a free chamber. Two, three. I should, yeah. I kicked off on the other side, I did. Are you even Dino's going? Just go back in the view. Oh, hi. Open the Raz, is it? Playing through, uh, playing on the PS2, and we are uh, playing through some of the Sega Ages games. I think we're up to about ten or eleven so far. Picking out the half decent ones and the the crap ones. This one's all right. It's just uh, I never really got into Pi Pile. The game is all about chaining. Right, so. I put that like that. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Get that one going. Trying to go for uh, a decent sized chain now. Um, only problem is I'm screwing myself up. Just not so good. That's a chain. A yellow with a red would be quite nice at this moment in time. Is it double? enough for a triple chain. Oh, I think I got a lot coming my way. Um, it's quite a decent size one. I'm winning anyway. Arigato. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did he thank me at the end? What am I doing? A character invisible. Icky mess. I don't know what that means. See if I can try and get a chain set up. It's the blue red. So put red on there. Uh, right, so that'll cause a chain there. Uh, one chain, two chains, three chains. How about? I'm surprised how popular this game actually is. In Japan, anyway. Uh, 
Uh, it's going to make things a bit awkward, isn't it? Purple and a blue. Um, ah, oh shit. down there, I think. Oh, no. Well, that went too bad. Straight into that. Oh, it's a good recovery. Random, isn't it? Bit of meatloaf. Bad out of hell in the morning, in the morning, run. Get a bit of uh, meatloaf. Maybe uh, iTunes thinks you want a bit of meat. Ikimas! What does that actually mean? I'm probably going to have to try and plan this a bit faster now. Alright, there's a green one. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to plan this one a bit faster. Um, Yellow. Definitely doesn't want to give me a yellow. Oh no! This could be uh, game over. More likely. Oh yeah, it's just game over. I don't think I can recover from this. Ah. <laughs> well, that's Pio Pio, guys. Like I said, much prefer Tetris. It's alright though. Right, let's walk to the next one. I don't know why the reset doesn't uh, work on my PS2. Right, here we go. Hang on, something's been put on uh, BBC about Wales. Hmm. Tripoli's looks like it's uh, heading for lockdown. Which is not good. What's they say? Uh, residents have been uh, warned. Increasing social distance should be advised. Uh, Right, what was the next one on the list? After Puyo Puyo. Uh, oh, Outrun. Yeah, this Outrun's not bad. It's pretty good, this is, actually. Uh. 
Ah, Charlie, cool. Alright, go replay. Ah, cool. Do 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 do. The first remake of uh, 3D Outrun, I think this was. Right, so what we'll play? Let's play ranged as well. Seems that's the option. Oh, which which one? You got any extra sounds? No. Uh, oh, range. So I've my passing breeze arranged. Dun, dun. I forgot PS2 has got but the analog buttons, haven't it? Bad idea that was. That uh, dodgy bend. Let's take the easy route, shall we? Do do. Jack find. Oh, that was lucky. This version of Outrun. Now I'm playing it. Notice it. It is like. Um, yeah, it is actually. Outrun 2? It's got this this track. I wonder if this is like uh, an in-between between Outrun and Outrun 2. Or they took some of the tracks off this. Rick is not the best. Do do as Yu Kazuki says himself, um, it's not a racing game. Outrun is a driving game. Just don't actually race anyone. We've got enough time to get to the uh, line. It's going to be close. Can I roll? Ah. Right, we'll have another go there. Uh, Outrun is such a classic, isn't it? Right, so we've got the arcade version arranged. Uh, Try arcade. Magical sound show, a range version. Dun, 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 dun. Classic tunes as well. Is this one actually got the arcade courses or strange fact about outrun in the arcade? Uh, it runs at 30 frames a second. It doesn't actually run at 60. Ah, I thought I had enough room to go around here then.
<laughs> Lost a fair bit of time crashing there. My time is. Uh, now we got a different second level now. We got the arcade second level. Cool. We got cop cars as well. Yeah, the range version is a little bit more like um, Mount One Two. I went too bad for that corner then. Have I got enough time to make it? I think I have. Not if I do that, I haven't. Outrun 2 is a classic in there, I love Outrun 2. That sliding and skidding around is class. Yeah, Outrun 2 is brilliant. Really cool game, I was. They did actually manage to, um, you know, take the uh, original game a little bit further and add some nice features to it with that um, the slide around corners and stuff, which works really well. Do do. I don't think I got enough time. Not enough time. I love Ridge Racer as well, especially the PlayStation version. Especially Ridge Racer Revolution. That was brilliant. For a game that essentially has just got one course split into various areas, the same with Ridge Racer. Um, God, I played those games loads back in the day on the PlayStation. I don't know what was my uh, favourite racing game back in the day. I don't have to have a think of that one. Go back to the range mode. Uh, we have Passing Breeze, haven't we? Do we have Passing Breeze or Splash Wave? Can I do remember? So Passing Breeze. Yeah, PS1 days were brilliant, weren't they? When I bought them from Japan for my PlayStation, I was just like, oh man, those games are really good. It's, it's mad, isn't it? How you, you played those Ridge Racer games over and over and over just to perfect the timings on the courses. And i got to admit, even Ridge Racer Re Revolution, even to now, is actually still a fun game. I thought I'd get past it, man. Go the harder route, I think. Let's try a different level. Oops. 
This is the uh, PS2 Sega Ages um, 3D remake of um, Outrun. So these were Japan only basically. They did a series of um, Sega Ages games. Uh, I'm saying go through them at the moment. See, some of them are good, some of them are crap. Didn't quite make it past that car then. Can't seem to get to the third level. Yeah, they did a pretty nice version of um, Virtual Racing as well. <laughs> but I can't get it working, unfortunately. Time is quite tight on this version, isn't it? Options we got. Uh, time limit. Let's bump it up a bit, shall we? Bump it up to 90 seconds. Game mode, game mode, test mode. Bit cheating, I know. I think it was a bit ambitious to say we we're going to go through all the Sega Ages games tonight. <laughs> Definitely that went happening. I think probably one of the best conversions of um, Outrun is probably the 3DS one. It's perfect the 3DS and you've got 3D and it, it looks pretty amazing. I think this is probably my favourite Outrun tune. We'll go the easy route. Definitely reminds me of the course on Outrun 2. Especially this corner beer. It's exactly like it. Or two. Down the road forced me right across then. And a little bit of extra time helps. Without running the arcade, there is a way of changing gears so you can drive off road and you can flick between the gears. I'm not quite sure how you do it, and um, you keep your speed up so you can go like stupidly fast. But I'm not quite sure how you do it. Okay, 
Classic tunes. Drives with one hand as well. Looks like he's out for a Sunday drive. You get your rivals on this as well, like um, Motor and Two as well. Not doing too bad for time. Is that the end? Looks like it. Long corner. The rivals got past me, it's not good. Hopefully, I have enough to get there. Yep, just about. Ooh, that's ruined his date. See, it's quite a nice version of uh, Outlandness, for what it is. Oh, he's alright. It's analog as well. It's a bit hard to see around that corner. Maybe messed that up. Ooh. Jesus, he comes straight across in front of me in. That's like the bridge off Outrun 2 as well. It is a last level on it when two on a bridge as well. I think I took some of the ideas from one two from this game. I see some similarities between some of the levels and the way um, the way this plays, apart from obviously you know, not zooming around corners. Uh, to try and get around him. Bad move. That never happens on outruns. Eh? <laughs> the cars from behind do actually hit you. Oh, it's right at the end as well.
Yeah, it is a bit drab compared to the original, but um, it's alright for what it is. Like, same as um, Afterburner and uh, Space Army, they are a little bit drab compared to the original. I suppose it was um, it was a PS2 era of 3D, wasn't it? Everything was a bit drab. You look back on like that area of, free, of um, 3D, and everything had muted sort of greys and greens and browns and. There was nothing like there weren't many games that were super colourful. It's alright though. Anyway, welcome to the room. <laughs> we're up to the next game now, I think. I'll be giving that a few goes. Which is fun. Should have watched the ending then, shouldn't I? I'd already press a button. Yeah, they are Japanese. Not sure if it was, um, I was playing this the other week on you. Um, oh, what's it called? Not Alien Storm. Um, I can't forget the name of it. Alien Syndrome. The 3D version of Alien Syndrome, if I remember rightly, is terrible. Yep, that's the next one. The cafe is was quite cool. <laughs> yeah, this might be awful, for what I remember. But we'll play it anyway. Oh, I never played that one. Into the skin. Yeah, I never heard of that one. There's so many, there's so many PS2 games, isn't it? What's it like? An arena type shooter, is it? Marking right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, if I remember rightly, this is crap. But the arcade one's okay. It's not bad. I was playing it the other week on you know, the arcade one, and I was, I was sort of quite enjoying it actually. In some ways. Right. Right. Ricky. Let's have, have Ricky. Yeah, there's so many games on the PS2. Say, the PS2 was a great console, especially for its time. It was brilliant. I, I, I loved the PS2 back in the day and the PS1. I remember um, my PS2 was well used at that point when God of War came out. And I remember getting to um, the Titan on God of War. And my PS2 had been playing up for weeks and getting a bit worse and worse. And uh, I got to this one point, it crashed. And then I had to play a whole section again. Got to the same point, crashed. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Here we go. So played a third time, got to the same section across. And I decided then, ripped my PlayStation out, went downstairs, stamped in it. Smashed it to pieces and chucked it in the bin. And then the next day, I went and bought a new one. At that point, I, I was just so pissed off. Right? <laughs> I just smashed it up outside and that was it. Game over. This was not loading either. Ah, okay, we'll give us another try now. It's happened on one of the games earlier. Because I'm running them off a hard drive. I'm running them off an SSD, actually, which is... I find quite amusing, actually, putting an SSD in a PS2, but... It doesn't add to the loading at all. Let's give it another try. If that doesn't work, we'll move on to something else. But, uh, Alien Syndrome. Remember, the Cafferty game's been pretty good. The Saturn one was cool. I'm pretty sure all these games are interlaced. Yeah, they are. I 
We've got a capture card coming as well that does 1080p, so uh, the one I'm using is a 720. It does the job, I suppose, but 1080p 60 would be quite good. So, uh, Mari. Will it load? That's the question. Will it blend? No, it won't blend. Very aliens ish style, isn't it? Yeah, it does load. Here we go. It's dark. The time bomb is set. Thank you. Jesus, really dark, isn't it? That's a lot of sausages. Oh, it might not be sausages. How many enemies you got on this? That's crazy. Jeez, there's not that many enemies on the arcade one. Man, this is so dark, I can't even tell where the actual levels are. Where a green dildo went, it's not good. Not a good look. Thank you. Right, how many have I got left to get? All right, you haven't got to collect them all either. Thank you. Well, you haven't actually got to save them all. <laughs> okay. It's not funny, honest. I am fully grown up. I'm pretty sure what I am. Maybe. Oh, it is twin stick. Oh, that's even better. It's actually twin stick. Well, uh, well. It's better than using the buttons. The problem is, it's a bit dark, isn't it? It's too dark, like. Stay close to it, you can get away from it. I still hit you though. It's a little better, it uses twin sticks, that's quite cool. Right, hope this next level is not so dark. The first level was crazy dark. Oops. Hang on. Wrecking everything. Right, that's better. I can actually see what's going on. Right. Ooh. Go on, they fired you. Thank you. A lot of bloody enemies on this, I'll give it that. There's not so many on the arcade. It's 
weapons are the best. Our weapon's a bit shaped. At least it's powerful. Yeah, the, the enemy place, um, the people who got to save are in the same place as the arcade, I think. Like a flamethrower for his unimorphs. Trevor a little there, thinks he help me. Kill me now. Well, they definitely made this a little bit more easier, but you don't have to actually collect everyone. Okay, arcade. Aye, aye, Captain. Ooh. Damn. Uh, let's continue. Cool the skill. Yeah, explosions are right. Also, mine, I'm not a big fan of the arcade, even though I was enjoying it the other night. This is a level I got to on the arcade. It's a pain in the ass trying to find all the uh, enemy, all the guys to pick up. The time bomb is set. Thank you. Actually, I got past this now, we got to the one after it. Well, that's uh, quite cool. Ah, it don't last long. Right, how the hell do I get out here? Um, okay. How do I get... I need to get off this platform. Shit. How the hell do I get out here? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm trapped. All right, okay, spear.
They love jumping up those things. Right, that's the map. Yeah, it's pretty, the um, guys you guys say are definitely in exactly the same placement as the arcade one. Option. Right, where are we on the map? Oh, there was one down there actually. Hang on. Oh, I've got to collect way more. Man, that time is tight. Time is really tight. Time's really tight. Right, okay. We start in the middle. I'm going to work my way around the circle. Get all the ones in the middle first. Thank you. Thank you. That weapon's great. Thank, Thank you. you. move hours. Right. Ah, there was one up here. Twin sticks actually work properly on this. Thank you. Right, so there's So I've got a couple to collect. Well, thank you. The only thing I never liked about the PS2 when the two sticks they're too close together, you end up banging your thumbs together. It sounds to me a lot. I won't try to do this level. Okay. Any more down yet? Yep, that's one of the top corner. Oh, that's funky.
Yeah, you just got to get a nice route around you, basically, haven't you, with this one? Googly eyed spider. It's quite a boozer. Time's running out. I am shooting the shit out of this as well. This engine's not going down very fast. You got a smart bomb. Doesn't take much off a of boss. Actually, kill him in time. Our weapon is not very powerful. Aliens again. We only just about did that boss then. Ah, oh, no, same level. Look at that. I think the arcade one's a little bit better. It's not a too bad version of the arcade, I suppose. There's probably certainly worse games out there. One sec. Right. Get the HC loader going. Yeah, right, mate. How's it going? How's life? Nice of you to join. Um, where are we up to? Ah, should we play Decathlon? Let's go for it. Long time no see. Who's life? Still living? It's all good. Oh god, yeah, the graphics not game terrible. It's a three D version. So some, some of these um Sega Ages games, some of the graphics are terrible on them. That one doesn't work by the look of it. Okay, maybe we won't play the calf long, so it doesn't work. Virtual Fighter 2 is the next one. That, that's, that's really nice, actually, on the PS2. Is it Virtual Fighter or Virtual Fighter 2? Yeah, Alien Breed plays terrible, though. I played that not long ago. You get stuck in walls and everything. It's a, It's... It's not a particularly well made game to be honest. It was I quite liked it back in the day, mind on the Amiga, but um you go back and look at it now. It wasn't the best made game in the world. Um okay, Virtual Fighter. Show sure, Virtual Fighter 2. This is very nice conversion actually of the arcade. If it works, of course. Yeah, cool. I like Virtua Fighter too.
This vision is pretty much Ike perfect. Kick Glow's ass. Think you can win at that level? Fight one. Ready? Go! I shall be able to combo. Yeah, the stream is behind for me a little bit, about 10 seconds behind. Yeah, to confirm he's terrible, but I've been out shopping a few times now. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Nobody's wearing masks. Uh, taxi drivers are not wearing masks. E everyone's out like there's nothing wrong at all. They've just put a they've just put a um, plea out to everyone to social distance in Gafili. Otherwise, they're going to do a severe lockdown because of the cases going on. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? My mate went out um, on Thursday and he was talking to a lady, you know, so out and he was wearing a mask and she was trying to get him to take a mask off, going, What are you wearing a mask for? He said, Oh, there's nothing wrong. I said, well, I don't know why you're wearing a mask for. I'll take that off when you talk to me. She was saying that to him, like. This, this version is uh, better than the sand one. Sand version's good.
Yeah, that happened to him on Thursday, I think it is, when he went shopping. Yeah, I know. What I found is, though, if you're out and you're wearing a mask and somebody gets really close to you, start coughing. They soon disappear. And the Welsh Government don't help, they should force me people wearing masks in um, shops. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Anyone gets any close to me in the shop, I've just been coughing and pretending to sneeze. Disappear shop. Good pie, she's a uh, fast character. Oh, come on. Aren't you about ready to go home now? I know it's crazy, isn't it? Well, I had to fight. I don't make it a habit to fight the elder. Yeah, that's why Kafili's in the mess it is at the moment. I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing rumours from uh, a few people that know people down in the Welsh Assembly saying um, that Kafili could be locked down uh, by either tomorrow or Monday. I don't know how true the rumours are, mine, but. But it's looking that way because the news is reporting it as well. Proven hard to beat. Me with everything. Now make it move. I don't make it a habit to fight. The yeah, schools are call going back. I've heard that. Um, they were trying to get Di Oliver and Alwyn to go back to the schools, and they've been told now that they have to wear they have to wear masks when they're in the schools, which you know should have to do it anyway.
The only problem is kids are like less likely to get it. Well, they do get it, but they're less likely to suffer from bad. Only problem is they can pass it on to everyone else. Same as anyone else. And then that's when you get problems. Kids are not immune from it. It's just a case of them being seriously ill from it. Is the numbers are a lot lower. Kick his ass. It's not happening. Aren't you about ready to go home now? Let's quit that then. Let's have another some different character. I want to fight more! <laughs> I want to fight more. Uh, options do we have? Screen options? Okay, let's try that one. Whatever options we got. Ranker mode. Lord Arcade. Um, Jackie's quite a cool character. You went back in before the old days, too. Shit. Fight one. Ready. Go. Double combo on me and kick my ass in. GTA 3. Yeah, it's like I know was in uh, Cafeteria as well. Shit, she's gonna cut my ass again. Yeah, I'm still working for home basically. This is a really impressive arcade game at the time when it came out. Running on the Model 2. Quite a massive upgrade on the uh, first game as well. That's virtual fighting anyway, and as we proved so far, that I really shit in it. 
I used to be better at this game. That was quite a while ago. <laughs> right, what was the next game on the list? Yeah, I never really got into any of the GTA games, to be honest. Like, I always just played them for a bit, run a few people over, then some random muggings, caused havoc, and then turned them off. I don't know why, they look really good. Uh, where were we up to? Virtual Fighter. Fancy Star will skip. Yeah. Uh, Fancy Star was skipped because that's an RPG. Dragon Force is the same, even though it's a cool RPG. F fighting Vipers. Yeah, they do look really good. Space Area complete. Yeah. Fighting Vipers, uh, I like it. This is quite a cool game. On the Saturn, they did uh, Fighting uh, Mega Mix. Which is like a mix of Virtual Fighter, Fighting Vipers characters, with a uh, load of other stuff chucked in. That's actually really cool. So he uses the game system from Fighting Vipers. So you got the power moves and the blocks. Yeah, GTA Five is uh, GTA Five. Sorry, is um, yeah, it's quite an impressive looking game, as. There's a lot going on in that city, innit? You can do a lot of crazy stuff. Ah, this one don't work either. Ah, come on. What's going on? It may just be a death load. Sometimes that does happen. I know it's not quite the same game, but... Um, Oh, what's it called? Um, Crackdown, Crackdown Free on the uh, Xbox One. That's great. Everyone just wanted the dog lad to say how bad it was. There were so many people online at the time when that came out saying that, oh, they never play it, this game is rubbish. But none of them had played it. So they were all giving it terrible reviews. And then when you actually call them out on it, they were all like, no, I haven't played it. I refuse to play it. So they sat there giving it a terrible review and they've never actually played the game. But Crackdown 3 was was really good. Um, try fighting Vipers again with this loader and see what happens. Yeah, I can imagine uh, that game being interesting with ray tracing. Going to need a damn good card for that. You, you should play uh, track down, uh, Crackdown 3 on your um, Xbox One. It's brilliant. In fact, that's probably one of the only games I've actually felt like a superhero on. Yeah, free is brilliant. I played through all in co-op. It, it, like I say, if you look at the reviews on it, the reviews are awful. But pe people literally it was that they didn't like what well, Microsoft were doing at the time. So loads of people just give it bad reviews, but they never actually played it. But when you play it, it's, it's super fun, that game is. It just unfairly hit the internet crowd that it was it was cool to say it was rubbish. So everyone jumped on the bandwagon, even though they hadn't played it, and said it was awful, and they were all purposely giving it terrible reviews and stuff. So it pretty much bombed, but it's a great game. Hang on, I might have to turn the PlayStation off a second. Hang on. Does this sometimes if you get a game that doesn't uh, do a proper load, sometimes you've actually got to power it off. Yeah, I never really played the second one, but um, I enjoyed the first one, but the, the third one's definitely the best one I've played. Towards the end of that, it, it's, it's crazy some of the mayhem you can do on that game. 
you do end up feeling like a superhero towards the end, or a super villain, depending on how you want to play it. I played it on the uh, Xbox One. What am I playing on now, you mean? PS2. <laughs> but it's not loading back up for some reason. Probably just killed it. Hang on. You're in problem playing it with the PS2. I'm going through a free Meister and upscaling it. So, it is, you do get the stream cutting off and cutting it back on. Come on, come on, PS2. No, it is a life. Thought I killed it. Hopefully, the stream will come back on now. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming back on. Um, right, I tell you what, time is getting on, so I'll skip some of these games, and I will go to Fancy Zone Collection. So I want to have a, a go with that before it gets too late. I'm going to swap my pad as well, put my satin pad in it, because uh, that'll be much better for playing this game. Oh, I mean, the PS2 is brilliant. This uh, Fancy Zone collection is amazing. Done by M2. Um, and it, it's pretty much got all the Fancy Zone games on you. All the console versions, all emulated. And they're all emulated perfect. And it has all the, if I can find the slot for my uh, joypad would help. Yeah. Where would I go any? It's all in my life. Can't get in. What the hell? Did I go wrong on the PS2? Right, no, that's it. Yeah, it's got all the fancy zones actually on you. And it's got multiple resolution modes and um, scanline options and everything. It's really good. Yeah, the Master System is brilliant. They're all on you as well. This collection is fantastic. So what we've actually got on you, you've got um, M2 actually made fancy zone 2 came out on the mass system but m2 actually converted it to the arcade and uh, made a new arcade version based on the mass system one and uh, they paid for their own money as well there was nothing to do with sega they paid for their own cash and uh, he said it cost more than his car to make it plus on here is all the classic fancy zone games for all the consoles and they're all emulated really well with really cool resolutions and stuff so you can get this this collection looking really good, but I want to play Fancy Zone 2. Hang on, wrong button. Yeah, I've got the original of this as well. Going up in price these days, but... Uh... Alright, the only problem with this pad is I haven't got a, a select, I don't think. Now you are. In here, you can actually change loads of system options, including display settings, uh, button options, and various other things. Like, it's in 240p at the moment. So what we could do is, if I change... Uh, hang on. Let me go to the frame master and check it back in progressive. Because it's in interlaced at the moment, as a lot of PS2 games are. I put it back in progressive, it should look a lot nicer. Give it a sec for it to resync itself. Yeah. And we're back. See you what you can do is you can change it four eighty I uh, you can have two forty P or you can have four eighty P. So if I change it four eighty P I think the 480p will probably look better through um, component. 
Uh, maybe, maybe not. So basically you can run in 480p, which looks rather nice. Uh, and what you do, there's loads of options for auto fire and various other things in here. So if you go back in here, uh, your controller options. Uh, what do repeat? So that's that button uh, and that button. So I probably want that button and that button. Yeah, that'll do. I think. But yeah, you can, you can. If you've got SCART as well, you can make this look exactly like the arcade with a 240p option um, and put scan lines on it as well. The uh, which got it was a standard texture map, smooth texture map. I might check it back to 240p actually. So you can have 480p scan lines. If I had to put that on, like they're not going to display properly on um, on your unfortunate 1080p. The scan lines because I, I got the I got it output in the 1080p, and um, it, scan lines don't work properly basically. So let me change this back. Right, anyway. I thought the original Xbox, that was brilliant as well. Yeah, so you've got basically an arcade perfect version of the arcade version of um, ooh, Fancy Zone 2, which was done by M2 themselves. <laughs> they loved the. Um, my sister won so much they actually made an arcade version which is nuts it's pretty nice this game is i haven't played it a huge amount but um played it on the 3ds a bit You've got this old uh, light and dark sort of um system on this game you can warp into the dark warp On the mass system one, you had to complete all the bases in, in all the different sort of warps that you went through. But on this one, I don't think you have to. Just have to clear them in one of the warps. Right, there is one around here somewhere. I'm not sure whether the 240p will actually look better. Let's have a look. Bullshit. Let me kill this boss. Right, so let me check it in 240p. Two forty p is what you wanted in, really, because that's what um, the arcade one was. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. So you're gonna smooth in or whatever. That actually looks like the arcade one. It's amazing how you think like two forty p is is really low resolution but when you actually use it how sharp it can actually look especially when it's upscaled through a frame master it looks really nice you've even got the japanese only um fancy zone on you like the maze game and the one where you go around the world and shoot things See, this with scan lines looks fantastic, but it's not going to come out on YouTube very well, unfortunately. This boss is a bastard, by the way. Well, that was lucky.
Come on, Opa Opa. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? 240p just looks loads better. Essentially, it's half the resolution. <laughs> 240p is the way to go. With scan lines, this, this would look really good. So I don't know how it will, it will come out, but actually, can I just pause it? Oh, excuse me. I'm sure we know. This is with scan lines for the frame meister. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna come out properly. They don't work properly at 1080p. What I could do though is we change the frame master back to 720p. Which is what this stream is anyway. Then I put the scan lines on and then tell me if they actually work properly. So this is what it would look on the arcade with the scan lines. As it's supposed to look. Ooh. Where are these enemies? I don't know whether that actually works on YouTube, but to me, that looks fantastic. I don't know why YouTube does something weird to scan lines. Yeah, scan lines are brilliant. I love scan lines. 240p and scan lines just looks wicked. Just looks like the arcades, basically. Ah, twin big bombs. Nice. Ooh, triple bombs. That'd be even better. Like, if I weren't streaming on YouTube, this. Pretty much, if I was playing this, this is how I'd be playing it. I probably would brighten the image up a little bit. But, you know, we'll do it for now. So these games were made basically to have these scan lines. This is why everyone looks everyone says about the sharp pixel look, everyone loves the pixel look. But the pixel look never really existed. Back in the day when we were running games on CRTs, games looked like this. So you don't get that pixel look, you get that it almost looks like they're running in a higher resolution. Games never had that sharp pixel look back in the day, like. Shit, they, uh, they're nasty. Ooh, they are nasty. I got quite like the pixel look as well myself, but, um, like I said, games never actually look like that.
Xbox is proving quite hard to kill. Oh no, I went into him. Ah, that was really stupid. It's the only problem I'm the highest speed. to go straight up there, not forward. <sighs> Rain shine. I'll have another go at this in a minute. I'm trying to get pretty close to it so I can... Um, the maximum number of bullets into it. Oh, that was close. God, I wish this thing would die. Tell me about it. Never actually got that far in this game. Okay, cool. The original Fancy Zone's on here as well. Arcade one. Perfect version, basically. That's my life's over. Yeah, so, like I say, that sharp, square, edge, pixel look never really existed that's just something that's happened since uh, people started putting old 240p games on lcds and without scan lines i thought oh look at it you get that square pixel look because of the way um lcds actually display the picture they make up what's in between that scan line essentially and you end up with that sharp pixel look even though back in the day, you know, people did actually design sprites and stuff on, like, square graph paper. Um, I can only get the double bombs at the moment, then. Let me get... I'm not sure exactly how this how this dark and light world sort of thing scenario actually works. I know you got slightly different enemies. I'm not sure whether the dark world bit's actually a little bit harder. No, uh, actually a square thing. Come on, Opa Opa. Let's see how there it is. So we'll stay in the the dark side. The 3DS version of this is really good. In 3D, looks a bit good. Oh shit. Got a bit trapped then, did I? Um, no, definitely not one CC. Need more practice for. I might be able to one CC the Mega Drive one. That's on you as well. Mega Drive one's brilliant as well.
So you get like a different look to the level. Ooh, it's real. You get a different look to the levels depending if you're in the light or dark. It's really nice fancy zone too, near the arcade one. It is a really cool game. Right. So I don't like this boss. This boss can be tricky as hell. Yep, wasn't expecting that. Hey, how's it going mate? Alright. Long time no see. Oops. <laughs> see, I'm pretty sure this game's harder in the dark mode. Ding, 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 ding. I right, stay in the light side, I reckon. Yep, nice to see you back. One shop, don't run off of me. All right, yeah, cool. What's Pembroke like for uh, social distancing and stuff? Is it busy over there? I used to like Pembroke, it used to be quite nice. I used to go on all day that way as well. When we were kids. Always used to go like a uh, kid welly way and stay in like a uh, caravan park down there. You see these levels are actually different. You get the ice level, don't you? If, uh... Right, do we got the triple bomb? No. Dark world. I was looking at the bloody things at the bottom then to see where the bloody warp was. Uh, I think I'm stuck now. Possibly. Yep. And I got no speed either. It's not going to help. What was that then? Um, yeah, I don't know where the warp is. Oh well. Oh, this is not going to be fun with no speed. That was just pure jamminess, man, going past that. And that was. Definitely wasn't good dodging, that was just luck. I want to 
gonna swap back to the later world. We get a chance. Oh yeah, it was uh, some lucky dodging. Right. Uh, got that. We got the triple bombs yet? Twin big bombs? I do. The big bombs are good. Get the wave in. I tried. And he got killed then. <sighs> right, okay, let's get a white beam. Boss is not too bad. Mm. A freeway shot just see anyway, why not? One base left. Back to our boss, is it? Speed is a bit rubbish for this boss, really, but. Bombs will kick ass on it. Jesus, that fight is not good. Oh, I've got a bit too close then. what I've got at the moment. Firing stuff they do now is like sniping straight for me. Cool animation on them. Right, what boss is it now? Oh, this boss. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's the last life as well. <laughs> Show sure, Portable Life.
Right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll change to... It's going to change the resolution now, unfortunately. We have a slight cut off until it does its resolution again. Um, actually, I want to return to title. I forgot, you can pick a game and then change it back to the, um, the Master System version, so I need to pick classic games. That's the original arcade I which is brilliant. And Super Fancy Zone on the Meg Drive, which is fantastic. I love this game. Right, this may be not in the resolution I want it. Yeah, it isn't. It's in 48 EIE. So we want 240p. Oh, you got it working, the view. What do you do to get it working? Do you have to use a powered hub after, maybe? Oh, shit. Didn't actually agree that, didn't I? That's brilliant, it works. That would be handy, actually, because I, I do have a spare drive, so... Did you use a powered uh, hub after? Right, 240p, marvellous. Um, I need to turn auto fire on. Actually, I think I'll do auto fire in the in here. It might be actually slightly faster. Oh, Western Digital Passport. Oh, it just worked, did it? Oh, that was handy. Um, I can't do it in here. Extended options, maybe sprite limit. No. Okay, I know these auto fire near them, but the only problem with the auto fire near it's not super fast. Um, shot bomb special. Yeah. Oh, I didn't just work there. We'll give this one go and see if I can uh, see if I get it. Um, if you go to Emu um, Paradise, but then if you look for the look for the um, workaround script for Emu Paradise, if you use um, Google Chrome or something like that, you can install something called Tampa Monkey, which is an add-in, and then you add the script into Tampa Monkey, and then that allows you to uh, download all the games off there on the workaround script. Can't fold it. If you search it, there's a whole Reddit post about it. Yeah. There's my fire button. Yeah, where's my fire button up there? That's weird, I can't use my bombs though. Hang on. That is the A button, the X button is A, I want that is B, and Square can do that one. That's why. Alright, you've done the script, cool. On my joystick, I've got the auto fire in there, and you can get it firing way faster than this one. Which helps in this game, to be honest, because you can kill some of the bosses fast. Yeah. That enemy then was having fun, wasn't it? 
Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think they do. I'm not sure if all of them do. I'm not sure where I got mine from now. You can convert them anyway if they're, if they're not in building queue. Then again, I don't have that much success in converting them, to be honest. On uh, my joystick, I can, I can kill that before it even fires. Yeah, the Megazord version is great. Cool music, as it would be made by Sunsoft. Sunsoft did the um, conversions of 1 and 2 on the NES in Japan. Uh, the NES ones are really good in Japan. The American versions made by... Um, oh, who are they made by? Uh, I can't remember the name they're made by anyway. They're awful. They're really shit, the American NES versions. The Japanese ones are really good. Or oh, Tengen. They were the people who made the American ones and they did a really piss poor job there. In fact, I'd say that the... Um, the NES versions, or the Famicom versions, by uh, Sunsoft are actually better than the Master System ones. This boss can take a while to kill. Money clicking. Yeah, Graham is too sense off, didn't it? Sense off to a really good company. They were well known for doing really good music. Like the Batman game on the Meg Drive, that's fantastic. This is. And um, they did do Blaster Master 2, though, which is pretty awful. But generally, sense off. Quality company. By the rubber boots next, I think it is. The, no, it could be the light actually. Ah, this boss is a pain. Try in my um, other USB kits I got, see if any of them will just be recognised. I need that actually, I need to go in the end of the light. Do, 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 do. I 
I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the super light. I might get the get the white beam. faster. Uh, quartet missiles. Super light sauce so gonna cost me. Oops. That was a bad move, wasn't it? Money is getting ruined. Well, it was very, very close then. let these missiles do the job in this boss. Otherwise you've got to bomb him normally, which um be really hard work if you've got the normal bombs. Can I get him? Nope. I did pull down then as well. Let's get that timing out there again. Um, do, 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 do. Ah. Oh well. Oh, it's gonna be me done for tonight, I think. Getting tired now, messing up quite a bit. I would say this fancy zone collection. I'll show you some of the other stuff it's got on you. Um before I go. Oh, wrong button. Turn back to title. What you've got on you as well is literally you get um arcade version of Fancy Zone 2. And then you also get in the classic games, you get the arcade version Fantasy Zone 1, you get Mass System Fantasy Zone 2. And fant uh, Game Gear Fantasy Zone, which is okay. Uh, the Mega Drive version, you get um, Opa Opa, 
which is like a maze game which was on the mass system you get galaxy protector which was japanese only mass system um you also get uh, fancy zone one on the mass system as well you just got to go into it and then change it you go into the options when you can change it to the mass system version so pretty much all the, all the fancy zone games this one's quite an interesting one but it's a little bit you can't really play it you need you need analog sticks essentially actually i'll go this way yeah this was um it was a really nice collection this was a um mass system only game in japan you need to put the joystick in base so you spin around this planet which i can't do on a on a d-pad and you've got to protect it like if i plugged in the other joypad you'd be able to do it so you basically protect the earth and then you start going for the galaxies different planets quite a cool little game when you can actually to when you can actually play it and then um, I return to title again. I say it's a pretty awesome collection. If you go back to that, so then you you can basically pick the arcade version of Fancy Zone, which is still brilliant, the original one. And then if you go back into this options, you can change the machines. You can change it to Mark Three, so you can base the Mark Three is pretty much in, in Japan as the mass system. And then it gives you all the extra options, extended options, whatever. So if I go back out now, I've got the uh, Mass System version of Fancy Zone. And they're all perfectly emulated on you as well. Which is really cool. So this is not essentially a complete collection, it's a complete Sega collection of the Fancy Zone games. As they say, there was some NES games, there was uh, this game called the PC Engine as well. So you got all these different versions. And then obviously you've got the display options for each version as well. So it's a pretty excellent collection. Back to title. If it goes back to title, of course. I almost lost his sync. And then uh, for the last bit, if I uh, start it up, go back to classics, and then you've got, um, I say, Fancy Zone Two as well. You can you can basically put that one on. Um, and then you've got the maze game which came out, which is actually, I never bought it on the mass system back in the day. Well, this is the arcade version, I don't, because it's got free play on it. What version is this? Ah. Yeah, I never actually bought this maze game, which is a bit like Pac-Man. But it's actually okay. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah, I never actually picked it up on the mass system back in the day. Can I click that? You can pick up weapons and stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Speed power ups back in again. <laughs> do, 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 do. You get the idea, like it's a bit like, like Pac Man, you can pick up speed power ups and stuff and weapons and. Uh, <laughs> 
various things, but they only last a certain amount of time. Like I say, I never actually bought it under my system back in the day, I didn't bother buying it. So it's after the shoot 'em up, but um Speed power ups, Andy. Quite an interesting little sort of offshoot of the fancy zone games. So it's quite a cool little game, but it's a very nice collection. Probably one of the best um, discs they did on the Secret Ages on the PS2. So I'm not sure how much this goes for these days, but um, I think last time I looked at it, it was going for about 60 quid, something like that. I picked it up when I was in Japan. It's one of the games I wanted to get when I was there. I found a copy of it. I can't remember. I think I paid something like 35 quid for it, maybe. Maybe a little bit less, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway guys, I'm going to call it a night. It's time to get on the knackered. I may be on tomorrow, I may not. Depends what I'm doing. Um, this weekend streaming thing seems to be becoming a, a bit of a thing. Right. Cool. Well, I say that's some of the Sega Ages games there. I say hopefully you enjoyed having a look at a few of them. Thought I'd get through a few more of them, but obviously not. But anyway, guys, I may be back tomorrow, possibly, but uh, thanks for joining anyway and uh, keep things fresh. And uh, it's been an emotional experience, as always. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Ta-da!